Nathan in Canada writes to me, I was wondering if we couldn't measure the difference from the actual sonic output of the speakers. For example, we measure the sound coming from a speaker with A interconnect and then measure the sound coming from the speaker with the other B interconnect and compare the two. I'm wondering if the microphones would indeed pick up a difference. When I switch from Nordost to Cardus cables in my system, the difference is not subtle. I can hear it right away. I would have to guess that a microphone would pick this up as well. Yeah, absolutely. That has been done and demonstrated more than a few times. My friend John Atkinson, who used to be the editor of Stereophile and a great guy, an excellent engineer, and someone that's like, show me, right? He used in on ear microphones, and you can look it up. Uh, there's a number of YouTube videos that will show you the differences from just sitting here listening, and then you change the cable. Now it sounds different. I think probably though a better approach to that was the one that the designer Bob Carver used many years ago. I don't remember how many of you remember the, the battle, was it Stereophile or the Absolute Sound? I don't remember which magazine. I think I'm gonna say the Absolute Sound magazine, but could be wrong. No, I think it was Stereophile. Anyway, one of those two magazines, there was the Carver Challenge, and he would, wanted to show that he could make a solid state amp sound as good as a vacuum tube amp to the point where the reviewers could not tell the difference. So they started out by having Bob's best effort on a solid state amp versus the same gain, but through a, a famous vacuum tube amplifier. And the reviewers, I don't know, 80, 90% in blind A-B testing could pick them out every single time. That's the solid state, that's the vacuum tube. And you, you can go read about it. So Bob said, okay, and I think he, had, he gave himself like three days. And what he did is he took that vacuum tube amp and he took his solid state amp and he ran it through a difference amplifier, if you will. It was basically a scope. And the scope on there would show when you compare the two, it would demonstrate the difference between the two on the scope. He didn't really quite know what those differences were, which is one of the problems of using that. And I've done this many times, compare two audio signals, and those are just directly taking, taken off of the output of the amps, and they were gain matched. But there was, you just see the difference, right? Like on our, on our power plant, oh, that one's off, but we show you the difference between the unregulated and the regulated AC power, and, and you can see it, you know, and it's interesting. So what he did basically is he tweaked, and he's an excellent designer, he tweaked his solid state design in various ways, of which I don't think he ever told anybody what he did, but he tweaked it and tweaked it till that difference went down, 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 to an imperceptible level. Then they went back and did the same A-B testing, and this time, the reviewers couldn't tell the difference between the two. So I think that is probably better than a microphone, but I think either would work. Okay, thanks for the question.